Just north of Tucson is Mount Lemmon. More than 9,000 feet above sea level, it's one of the highest mountaintops in the continental United States. The 30-mile trip up the mountain winds through several ecosystems, beginning in the desert and ending in pine forest. At its peak, the Mount Lemmon Sky Center, a premier site for astronomical research. Now for the first time, it's open to the public. In astronomy and in the sciences in general, uh, there is a lot of work that needs to take place in terms of uh, the education of the public and especially of young people. Adam Block is with the University of Arizona's Stewart Observatory. He's also an enthusiastic guide for Sky Night, a public astronomy program to teach people more about science and the work done by U of A researchers. So visitors can see what astronomers do, a new telescope was installed. It's a 24-inch telescope that describes the size of the mirror that collects the light. And for uh, amateur astronomy, people who look through telescopes for uh, reasons of pleasure, they enjoy doing it, that is a very large instrument. Before stargazing begins, Block gives an orientation on some of the basic principles in astronomy. It helps people get a sense of how they fit into the big picture. But if we were to put on this picture, kind of like the you are here on the galactic map, we put it maybe somewhere here, a little dot. We live some two-thirds of the way out, just outside of one of these spiral arms in our own galaxy. This evening's program is the kind that offers the public an opportunity to experience the night sky. It's, it's an introduction to everything in astronomy, really. We're going up to the observatory to watch the sunset. As the last little pieces of the sun set, that color right now is yellow-orange. The Earth's atmosphere, due to refraction, divides the image of the sun up like a prism. And the last bright colors that you see setting are green. If you stand right here on this rock, just to the right of this tree, there are a couple of branches that stick out. Uh, you will see a small little white star. It's not a star at all, it's the planet Venus. But that's the sunset. It did it. So come on into the observatory. The Sky Center is a unique facility run by the U of A College of Science. These public outreach programs not only give people hands-on experience, but a chance to rub elbows with some of the university's leading scientists. One of the things that I enjoy doing is to offer perspectives to the public that give them the opportunity to appreciate the kinds of research that happen here and why astronomers might get so excited to do it in the first place. Adam Block is more than this evening's guide. He's one of the best astrophotographers in the world, and tonight he shares his passion with the public. This is what I physically attached to the back of the telescope instead of the eyepiece to create those images. Using the resources that we have here on top of Mount Lemmon at the Sky Center, we're able to generate pictures that are truly some of the best in the world. They are uh, very colorful, vibrant, and of high resolution. I think it um, helps any, anyone to expand their knowledge of um, science, um, the possibility of discovering or determining where we come from broadens horizons, um, seeing there's a lot more out there than video games and, um, and Spongebob. <laughs> the view's a lot clearer up here than it is down in the city. I think children have already have a large interest in the stars and the moon and the sun, and they learn a lot about astronomy surprisingly early. I think a lot of adults we sort of forget as the years go by, but the children have an intense interest in all of this, and so it's good to do everything we can to, to keep that fire burning. There are things that I learned that I hadn't remembered from learning back in elementary school that's coming back to me now. So it's, it's great for the kids and also for us. Super. Extraordinary. It's fantastic. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. We have a telescope at home, an 11 inch, but doesn't even compare to a 24. Okay. Not even. So it's a pleasure to come up here. I mean, the first time that you see some of these things, it's just, so with oh my gosh. Piece, when you look in the telescope, you will see Jupiter right in the center, 
and Mount Lemmon Sky Center offers access to the universe in ways that many people uh, have never been given the opportunity. Using a telescope like this from these facilities, we are able to capture all of the wonderful things that you might have seen pictures of in books and magazines uh, from the Hubble Space Telescope and elsewhere. You're able to do a lot of that research and a lot of those um, exciting endeavors from right here.